Good morning. Happy Monday. Today, welcome back to Foundations of Yoga series with uh, Yoga with Adele, Find Your Inner Sparkle. Today, we're looking at Cobra Pose. So it's a pose that we do lying down on our bellies, um, prone. It's a, a position that we do on our fronts and it is a back bend. So predominantly it is strengthening all the muscles in the back of the body, all the extensors in the back of the body. So to get started, we're gonna lie down on our tummies. So lie down on your tummy and don't have your legs kind of zipped up together like this. You don't need to have them zipped up tight. So just take them a little bit apart and just take your arms out into this kind of cactus goalpost shape for now and rest your head down on one side, no matter which side. So I just want you to feel your back here because the back can carry a lot of tightness and tension. So take a moment to just arrive on your mat, relax your feet, relax your shoulders, take a breath. <sighs> And just feel how your back feels. And then we're going to slowly lift the head. So this process already starts to work into your back. So lifting your head, turning it to the center and then placing your forehead down. Take your hands and slide them back and find your rib cage. So many people don't know where the ribs are so in class sometimes people think the ribs are forwards here under the shoulders so you'll feel your ribs where people get tickled place your hands just at the side of the body by your rib cage now for your elbows don't let your elbows collapse out to the side i want you to squeeze them into the body so hug them in and then take your shoulder blades and slide your shoulder blades down towards your feet. So elbows in, shoulder blades down. This action of sliding your shoulder blades down should almost start to lift your head without you even trying. They kind of feel this energetic lift. So your forehead starts to lift off the mat. Now, the feet were relaxed when we were on, in, on our cactus pose on our belly. So now we want to draw the ankles in a little bit so that the heels can you see are starting to point up to the ceiling and I've got my weight on the tops of my feet so I'm using the tops of my feet to press in too lightly as well so your kneecaps might just lift off the floor because you're engaging your leg muscles now we can use our hands to ever so gently press into the floor just to give us a little bit of extra lift but I want you to keep your tummy button down. So many times people think baby cobra is up here. This is a different pose. This is upward facing dog. So baby cobra is bent elbows, navel stays down, neck stays long and relaxed. They're on the tops of the feet. Your thighs are engaged, but you're not muscling into your hands so much that you cannot hold the posture if you were to let go with the hands can you still maintain that beautiful long back? So let's come down, take your head to the other side. And I will turn around because you might not be able to hear me otherwise. So we'll rest our head on the other side, just have a little bit of a breather whilst we come into the other, to come into this pose again. I want you to really think about finding length in the spine so what I don't want you to do is look up here looking up and cranking the back of your neck cricking the back of the neck um, I did an amazing course yesterday all about the neck and the head and if we lift our head like this and we compress the nerve in the back of the neck then we're putting ourselves into a stress response we're putting ourselves into our our um, sympathetic nervous system because we're kind of closing down our parasympathetic nervous system. So we don't want to do that. We want to find in the same in cat cow, we want to find this beautiful length in the neck. Um, so keeping your eyes forwards a little bit will help with that. 
So let's try this side. So bring in, let's try this again. Sorry, I've just turned around, but bring in your hands to your rib cage. Let's try this again. Press into your hands. So your hands are your foundation, as is the tops of the feet. So draw those ankles in a little bit. Engage the thighs, gently squeeze the thighs, kneecaps might lift. Start to turn your head, forehead down for now. Now picture your neck, your long neck, and the neck, the root of the neck goes right down to the bottom here um, of the rib cage. So visualize your neck being super long. Slide your shoulder blades down the back and begin to peel up slowly, finding that really nice length through your spine. And then as you integrate the neck, your eyes will be looking forwards, so you're not looking up, crunching the neck. So really see if you can feel that nice length. So you've got a nice back bend that is safe without too much compression in the neck. You're not putting yourself into a fight or flight response. You're doing the pose with integration and then roll down. Tap the forehead, keep your legs engaged, take a breath. <sighs> breathe out and then breathe in and roll back up. See if you can practice that long spine, integrated neck, belly button stays down and roll back down. Peel it down bit by bit. Let's try that one more time. So forehead lift. The chest, the breastbone lifts. Top of the belly, the abdomen lifts, pressing gently into the hands, roll through your spine, looking forwards. Make sure you're pulling your shoulder blades away from your ears and then roll it back down bit by bit by bit. And then relax and shake and wiggle out the legs. Whew. Beautiful, pressing into the hands. After that back bend, you might want to take a child's pose. If you want the foundations um, of yoga video on child's pose, Balasana, then there is one of those. So you can go and find that. And taking a forward bend after a back bend is a really, really nice thing to do for your spine. So you might just choose to do, you know, three, five, ten little cobras every day to keep your spine supple and healthy it's a really nice way to move your back every day um, to counteract a lot of this forward posture and seated posture that many people do now working from home you know right we, we sit and stare at screens a lot so play with that please pop a comment in if you have got any questions or if you've got any comments about your experience of this pose um, like and subscribe to this channel. We are over 100 subscribers now, so we're still a baby channel um, and I'm hoping to grow to so much more and to bring a lot more of the Find Your Inner Sparkle tools to this community. So if you're watching this on YouTube, like and subscribe. If you're watching this on Facebook in the Find Your Inner Sparkle with Adele Facebook group, then um, please also subscribe to the YouTube channel. That would be amazing. And I will see you all again for Movement Monday next week. Bye for now. Namaste.